Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode Yes, it's a bonus one on Smile to Jannah Smile to Jannah <laughs> For those of you that are still living under a rock Hello, welcome back Let me tell you a bit about this dodgy guy Jeffrey Epstein, yeah? He is a convicted sex offender whose victims include underage girls. Now the reason why his case has been all over the news is because of the high profile people that he knows and has met. You got the likes of Donald Trump, the Clintons, you know Hollywood stars like Kevin Spacey and Chris Tucker and you know loads of people. One of Epstein's victims has spoken out and claimed that Prince Andrew also had illicit relations with her. On top of that Prince Andrew has also been seen with Epstein with photographic proof and video proof and of course Epstein was found dead. The official story is that he committed suicide but there's overwhelming evidence to suggest against that. Now because we're living in the UK and the royal family is very important here, the media is up in arms about his link with Epstein. Of course all of this built up so Prince Andrew said yo let me do an interview with the BBC to clear the air. But little did he know it would do the exact opposite. <laughs> I mean he was stammering away like a kid who's just been caught with his hand in the cookie jar. There's a slight problem with, 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 with the sweating um, because uh, I, I have a peculiar medical condition. What the hell is this? Audu Billah. He was blinking away like he was trying to set some sort of world record. That's a very difficult thing to um, answer because I don't have a message for him. Because I have to have a thick skin. If somebody's going to make those sorts of, of allegations, then I've just got to have a thick skin and get on with it. But they never happen. Going on. I mean anybody with a basic understanding of body language understands blinking. It's linked to nervousness, guilt and lying. <laughs> but if you're saying hey it could be the gravity of the interview or whatever, mate look at the u-turns this guy's been doing. Um, I'm almost, 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 in fact I'm convinced um, that I was never in tramps with her. Yeah. And let's not forget this one. Do you know you didn't meet her or do you just not remember no, meeting her? No, I have, I, I, I don't know if I've met her, but no, I, I have no recollection of meeting her. Mate, this guy's doing more U-turns than a lost Uber driver. Who's trying to avoid the congestion charge? She described dancing with you no. and you profusely sweating <laughs> and that she went on to have bath, there's a, there's possibly. A, there's a slight problem with, 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 with the sweating um, because uh, I, I have a peculiar medical condition which is that I don't sweat um, or I didn't sweat at the time and that was, oh actually yes, I didn't sweat at the time because I um, ha had suffered what I would describe as an overdose of adrenaline in the Falklands War when I was shot at. <laughs> now there's so much material that I can just do on that comment of his but what's most concerning is he actually thought of the answer in his head and his brain said you know what we're actually okay with that let's let's roll it down to the mouth and let's send it out people will buy it I can't believe it <laughs> yeah we know it was you because you were breathing heavily uh no after the war I don't breathe I mean ask my doctor in it. Yeah but we saw you walking outside, it was you. Nah, I don't walk, I've got a medical condition, I, I fly. It, it, was, it, was, it was almost impossible for me to, to, to sweat. If this guy opens his own deodorant, he's gonna become a billionaire overnight and then you won't have to hang around all these pedos. Convicted for soliciting sex with a minor but given a dubiously lenient sentence of just 18 months. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you get longer just for carrying a knife in this country. But anyway, at this stage it was proven to the world that Epstein was dodgy. But even after this, Prince Andrew went to not only meet Epstein but to stay over with him as well. Have a little slumber party and that yeah? 
Why? Why were you staying with a convicted sex offender? Right. Now, I went there with the sole purpose of saying to him that because he had been convicted, it was n inappropriate for us to be seen together. You're finished. You're finished. I rate the reporter for this one because when it comes to other incidents, Prince Andrew could claim ignorance and say, yo, I didn't know. But let's see what he says about visiting him after he was convicted. I'm just trying to work this out because you said you went to break up the relationship and yet you stayed at that New York mansion several days. I'm wondering how yeah, long... But I was doing a number of other things while I was there. But you were staying at the house of yes. a convicted sex offender. It was a convenient place to stay. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! What's going on here ladies and gentlemen? It might seem a funny way to break off a friendship. A four day house party of sorts with a dinner. Yeah, due to you being a sex offender and all that, I'm afraid our relationship can't carry on, but is it cool if I stay over for a couple of nights? Yeah? Uh, I was at home. Uh, I was with the children. I'd taken Beatrice to uh, a Pizza Express in Woking for a party. Yeah, of course. The Queen was at McDonald's buying a fish burger meal. Obviously, going through the drive through and Prince William was probably ordering the two-piece chicken and chips from Chicken Cottage. Obviously, the thigh and the breast because, you know, that's got the most meat. Done now, innit? He has quite obviously conducted himself in a manner unbecoming. Yes. Unbecoming? He was a sex offender? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm being polite. Unbecoming, mate. That's what you call a toxic level of politeness. In fact, it shows how severely he actually sees all of this. Hey, stop doing that to the kids. It's very uh, un unbecoming. Yeah, C can I stay with you? Do you regret the whole friendship with Epstein? Um, uh, now, uh, still not. I think the person that was supposed to prep him for the interview thought that the interview was going to happen at Pizza Express because obviously this guy is obsessed with it. So he probably couldn't make it. So Prince Andrew was like, yo, I'm just going to bluff it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the worst that could happen? Everything, mate. This whole interview is the worst that can happen. And apparently he went over to Epstein's house to, you know, visit his girlfriend because that's that's normal that's what you do you're like yo come over you want to stay over yeah meet my girlfriend yeah yeah i'll just leave you two alone and then i mean yes i would go and stay in his house but that was because of his girlfriend yep these are our leaders apparently and they do also say that the leaders are a reflection of the people so i guess the people are blinking stammering nincompoops who don't sweat and hang around with pedos at pizza express all right guys i guess that's the end <laughs> until next time yeah can i stay with you assalamu alaikum